Hey there, comic fam. Welcome back to Climbing Comics. In today's sesh, we'll be doing my next installment of comic grading using my demon number one and asking the question, do you buy raw or slabbed? Hey there again, comic fam. Welcome back to Climbing Comics. In today's sesh, I wanted to do my next book in my comic book grading installment, Demon Number One, brought to you by Jack King Kirby himself. To go over the previous books that I graded, we went over Green Lantern number 55, graded at a 2.0, ASM number 33, graded at a 4.5, Doctor Strange number 169, graded at a 6.0, and most recently, X-Men number 129, graded at an 8.5. I bought this book last year raw, and I wanted to use this as an opportunity to grade it and ask the question, do you buy raw or slapped? I think this question is kind of important right now because of the increase in prices everywhere. I think a lot of people are moving from slab to raw because they're taking a risk in, in looking for what could potentially be a higher grade book, but buying it for less. So let's use our comic grading skills to see if we learned some lessons over the last couple months. The same way that I've done the previous comic grading videos, first off, I'll be showing you the book, Second off, I'll be doing my own analysis of the book. And third, I'll be answering my question, do I buy raw or slabbed? Without further ado, let's jump straight into it. Today I bring you Demon Number 1, first appearance of Etragon, brought to you by Jack Kirby. To go along with this, I'll be using the Overstreet Guide Degrading Comics. And just as last time, we have this quick guide to of suggested number of allowable defects per grade. I transpose that into this little cheat sheet here. Just like last time, we'll be taking a look at different things like spine ticks, edge wear, tight and loose pages, staple conditions, so on and so forth. So let's get into it. So first off, I have a light in this direction so I could see if there's any bends on the cover. There does not seem to be. And then on the back, no bends either. So if you see that slight little shadow across this edge right here, that is actually a rolled edge. So we could press that out with a good clean and press. So let's take a look for spine ticks, color breaking spine ticks. 
there's a slight one here, a very slight one there, and around that staple. Slightly blunted corner. Another slightly blunted corner here. The edges look very sharp though. Another slightly blunted corner. This one looks okay. In terms of the back, I do not see any thus far that cannot be pressed out. There's a slight shadow here that could definitely be pressed out. This is probably some dirt. This could do with some cleaning, but the back looks good. In terms of staple, I do not see any rust on the top or the bottom, but to be safe, let's check the inside. Put a little backing board here so we could quickly get to that. It does not seem to be rusted and there's no bleeding of any sort of color. In terms of page quality, I would give this probably an off-white. And for its age, it might even get white. So I like to look at the front and back cover just to see if there's any damage on the inside. It also can show you certain damage on the outside that you don't normally see. There's some, um, there's something here. Let's take a look at the back. Seems to be slightly staining up there, but everything looks good so far. I checked the inside. It does not seem like there's any cutouts in this whole book. The smell, there's no, no quite acidic odor. So with the two or three spine ticks and the two or three abraded corners, I would kind of give this, I would call this a 9.2 to 9.4. So with that amount, I would say three to four with a clean and press on a good day. Let me give this a nine four. So let's quickly look at the criteria of a nine four. So again, I normally start off with a five point O's, but I wanted to get to this near mint here. One thing that I wanted to point out is this ever so slightly blunting, no creases, spine roll, it's tight and flat that could be um, flattened out, not much else, no acidic odor, no coupon cutout, no missing pieces. So with this, I would give this book a 9.4. Thanks all, please put your grades in the comment section below. I'd like to hear to see if you saw anything that I missed. Now to answer the question on whether I would buy this book raw or slabbed. So imagine this is last year when I did not have this book and I'm looking for something in high grade. Do I want to buy it raw or slabbed? First off, I would look at Go Collect to make sure I know what the value would be for this book around that grade. So knowing that we have a 9.4, it has a fair market value of around $550 with most recent sales of closer to around $800. So there's quite a spike over this past year. To cross check this, I wanted to use my comic shop as a comparison and it does look like that they have a 9.4 selling for close to that $800 range. If this was last year, I would definitely try to use my skills of grading comics and try to find something raw uh, in that similar grade. I found this book on eBay claiming to be near mint and selling for a $250 price. I wanted to see if this was too good to be true, knowing that the fair market value of a slab book is about three times this price. I wanted to see if this was worth it. So at $250, I wanted to make sure that this was considered a near mint book. For those that do not know what near mint is, I have the CGC grading scale here. So a near mint book is that 9.4 book uh, with plus and minus at the 9.6 to 9.2 range. Even if you call it a very fine near mint book, that's about 9.0. So let's say that this book is within this range. Let's see if this matches the, the 9.4s that we've seen based off of the Overstreet Guide to Grading Comics. First off, I'll look at the spine. The spine looks quite good. There's a little bit wear in the bottom middle. And then looking at the top, there's a little bit of wear there as well. The corner seems to be a little bit blunted, but that's okay. 
there's a pressable defect here you see on the right side. But as you go down, one red flag just showed up for me here in this bottom right corner. So you see both horizontally and vertically, there is quite a bit of a color breaking crease. And luckily they have this other picture here that is a close up of this corner. So looking at the Overstreet Guide to Grading Comics, I looked at a 9.4. And for allowable cover creases, they only allow 1 16th inch of a bend with no color breaks. Um, and even jumping down to an 8.0, that's about a 1 4th inch bend with no color break allowed. I'm not exactly sure how big this would be, but to be safe I would and conservative, I would call this maybe an 8.0 and if I was lenient, maybe call it an 8.5 if, if I were to look at the other parts of this book. So looking at this book at an 8.0, I wanted to go back to the Go Collect site and looking at an 8.0, it seems to be around 150 to an 8.5 or $170. So if this is actually an 8.0 to 8.5 book, this is overpriced for it. So I would call this quote unquote catching a brick. For those of you who have not checked out the Reggie Collects uh, videos, catching a brick is essentially um, purchasing or obtaining a book well over its actual value. And I think here, knowing that the skills that we have and the grade that we're giving this, this is way overvalued for what we would be paying for this. This would be too good to be true to buy this book. Thanks for joining all. If you guys have any other observations on the book itself, please let me know in the comments section below. Well, that was a really fun exercise of asking whether we'd buy a book raw or slabbed. And we found a really cool example of a raw book that I would probably avoid. In today's market, in buying a book slabbed, you'll definitely be paying a premium, but you'll also be buying the security of making sure that book is actually the grade which it says on that label. When you buy a raw book, with the skills that we've learned over the last couple months about grading, I would feel a little bit more comfortable making a purchase of a raw book online if I felt confident with the grade that it probably was. So definitely a disclaimer, if you go out and um, try to find a book raw, please do your research, please compare it against, for example, the guide to grading comics and um, figure out if you're either catching a brick or catching a good deal. What about you? Do you buy your books raw or slabbed? And for what reason? Please definitely leave that in the comment section below. So if you like this video, please give me that thumbs up, subscribe, and click on that bell icon so you're notified of when I come out with new content. From my comic journey to yours, make it your own. Thanks all. Bye.